Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Infinite Combo that you could see a pre-release. All these cards are from A4 Revolt, so it is possible, although you need a Mythic for this to work. Or multiple uncommons. You need a playset essentially of the Contin module. So let's go over how the combo works. It works around the one blue and a red. And it is a creature uncommon whenever it enters the battlefield. You get free energy counters. You pay free energy and you get a 1-1 colorless Fopter artifact creature token with flying. So essentially, if that creature can generate... If when the artifact creature comes into play, it can generate free energy tokens, you go infinite, right? You go infinite with the number of artifact creatures you can have. So... The module costs two, and whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you get an energy counter. So that's the only thing we are worried about. And the Gonti's A4 Heart costs six, so that's the more expensive piece. But whenever it or another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you get two energy counters. So if you combine the Gonti's A4 Heart with the module every time a creature comes into play, you get one energy counter, and every time an artifact comes in play, you get two energy counters, which is good because you're generating, for free energy counters, you generate a 1-1 one, one colorless Fopter artifact creature token with flying. And obviously this is a combo they know of because all the cards are from the same set. So this is kind of an interesting combo. A lot of times when you talk about combo decks, they have a strained life cycle in the fact that the combo cards are spread around sets. Therefore, you know, once a set rotates, the combo can just go away. But this particular combo will last the length of A for Revolt in standard. So that's pretty cool that if you made this deck, and the blue-red has many, many good combos. I, I'm looking at some of the combos now. Obviously, Sahili Ra and the cat combo, copycat, is currently on the watch list so i don't know they could be banned like they could probably they're probably banned i can't imagine them banning sahili because he's the main character of this block but it is possible i mean they did ban emiko so that was the main character of that block anyway this is a great combo i love it and the most important thing is all pieces necessary will be in standard and rotate out at the same time that's very unique for a combo. So if you made this deck right after pre-release and it was like a decent tier 2 FNM deck, you would ha be able to play this deck for a very, very long time. And it could be a ton of fun. It could be very good. I don't know. Um, overall, when I look at it, it seems simple enough. You're in blue-red. Blue-red is the combo colors for this particular format. And you get an infinite amount of... The 1-1 one, one creatures that were flying, yes, they don't have haste, but unless your opponent does something crazy, you should be able to attack with them no problem next turn. And obviously, when I look at this combo, I'm very happy to see it. It's the type of combo you want to see. It's not copycat. Copycat with Sahili is really fast. It's turn 4, you can win. Those tokens have haste, so yeah, you can win. This is more of a turn six combo. Then you give your opponent another turn to interact with it. It's not even turn six because you need, that assumes you made your mana drop six turns in a row. It's more like a turn eight combo and then you give your opponent a time, one turn to respond by either killing all the tokens or doing something. So it's a very fair combo and something I like. It's not as aggressive as copycat. But at the same time, it's a combo, and you can work towards it. Blue is very good. Red is very good. I'm happy of the burn spells that are currently in red. This is what a combo deck should look like, in my opinion. You should have a combo out. You should have a you know a combo ready, and you should be have to you have to be forced to protect your combo pieces from disruption, either hand disruption or from creature removal, or from something, and. That's the fun part. I think blue and red are very good colors at protecting combo pieces and making sure you don't die by turn eight or nine. 
I don't know, leave me a comment below and have fun at pre-release, guys. And I'll give a report later. Anyway, leave a comment below. Bye, guys.